Hey everybody, it's the DRock100. Welcome back to more of Pokemon Black in the last episode. We took care of the Dream Yard for the last time, and we defeated a couple of grunts over at the Wellspring Cave. In this episode, we are going to be continuing on to Route 3 and heading off for Nacarine City. But anyway, uh, before I do so, off screen, I leveled up a little. And uh, Salazar is actually one level away from evolving. And I'm hoping that's going to happen pretty soon. I, I actually didn't take care of these trainers up here because I don't want to worry about them for a little while longer. Okay, here we go. Thank you so much. The two of you got our Pokemon back. I'm looking to have friends like you two. Thank you, mister. Please, take these as a thank you present. She gives us three heal balls. Very good items. Oh, well, kind of. Yeah, as what Bianca just said, they... Automatically heal up your Pokemon right from the get-go. Right, but anyway, when we come down here, there is a Pokemon that I want to track down. And unfortunately, this isn't it. I was thinking about this from last night, and even though that video did went up a little bit past midnight, but either way, I don't care at this point. First of all, we have an antidote right there that restores poison, which is a very good item to have. But anyway, Sharon! What's up, buddy? The dark and tall grass over there. Every now and then, two Pokemon will pop up at the same time. In other words, you have to be careful in the darker grass. I'm heading on to Nacarine City. Yep. And unfortunately, this isn't a double battle. But what's great about this, we can actually find Pokemon of some very high levels out here, and I like that quite a bit. Alright. Sorry about that if you guys saw anything. You didn't see anything. Okay. Wait a second, is this the same Bidove? Okay, no it isn't because it's a male. I really wanted to use Bidove on my team, but I've actually decided to guess because I've used it in so many playthroughs and I just don't want to give it a, a give it a break on that one. Uh, we have a great ball right there, which is a pretty good item. Now, is this the Pokemon that I'm looking for? No, it is not. But anyway, there is a Pokemon that we can find out here. I went over it last time. And I've actually decided that I wanted to use this on my team. But the question of the day is... Am I actually going to find it? Lillipop, I know you're cute and all, but I already have a Lillipop. And he's going up to be a good boy. Come on. There it is! Blitzel! Hey, he's level 10. Okay. Okay. So, um, just going to give it a bite. Okay, I flinched. I don't want to bring this thing down too low. So, let's just go ahead and try and go for the catch this thing. Yeah, I thought about it for a little bit, and I decided I wanted to use an electric type user on my team. I haven't done that in a couple of Let's Plays. So I figured, oh, why the hell not? And unfortunately, Blitzel does have some, have a pretty high, actually have a pretty low cash rate. At least I think it does. Got it! Okay. Blitzel! The electrified Pokemon. Its mane shines when it's discharged electricity. The use of flashing manes to communicate with another with one another. Fancy! Alright. As for its name, uh let's think here. You know what? Why the heck not? I am gonna call her. Uh, we'll call her. Shocker. Alright, so yeah, I've already gotten three Pokemon here from my official team right, right off the bat. Holy crap. So, um, Shocker's not going to be seeing a lot of action for a little bit. So, for... I didn't know you were a trainer. But you know what? It, you know what? That's fine. It's fine. I need to hit a couple of good battles. So, why the hell not? 
Got a level 12 patch right, right here. So let's give it a bite. Uh oh. Ah, crap. Ah, frick a frack. Oh boy. I probably should have taken a closer look at Blitzel's stats and see what see what it has. But it doesn't matter at this point. Oh! All right. Uh, Purloin. Uh, send out Salazar. I want Salazar to evolve in this episode, since it's actually, I believe, one level away. And I think this Pokemon just might do it. Oh, by the way, off screen, Salazar learned Leaf Tornado at this specific level, and I like it. Wait, what the? I didn't know I could do that! Yes. Well, I probably have, but it's probably been just so long since I've played Pokemon Black. Just, holy crap. What can you learn by losing? I feel like there's a Eureka here for me. Hey, losing is... can be proven to be quite the wise teacher. Let's take a look at you. Okay. It has a lax nature. Okay, don't know what that means. It has good endurance. Quick attack, tail whip, and charge. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, wait a minute. He goes holding something. Wait, wait, wait. That's not gonna. Full heal! Holy crap! That is a good item! It completely restores an It completely restores a Pokemon's each uh, status problem on the field. And also on screen I found a super potion from the Dream Yard, because I didn't do actually do a lot of exploring around there. So that's a thing. Ma'am, excuse me. Alright. We found an awakening here that, as the name implies, awakens a Pokemon from sleeping. And I might as well show off this one battle before we head off for Nacarine City because we actually have a lot of things to do in Nacarine City. Okay. Alright. Edgar. Is your last name Pooh? Edgar Allen Pooh? His stories are weird. If any of you guys read any of his books, they're really weird. Like the raven. A weird story. And nothing more. Okay. Whoa! Alright. Hey! Rude! Yeah! Critical hit! And that was on to level 17! A boo yeah! Okay. Rock and roll is up next. Um, yeah, nah, we're good. Alright. Let's go for a weak tornado. And do that. Oh, it has dirty. <laughs> that horn is gonna do Jack doodly. A new battle strategy only works if you stick with it. It's true. And check it out! Salazar is evolving. Sows are evolved into Servine. All right. Um, I guess I now that that Snivy evolved, I guess I can go ahead and cover Servine. Uh, Servine as a Pokemon, it becomes a whole lot quicker and it can deal a lot more better special attack power. And this thing, 
it can be even better later on. It gets a whole lot better later on. It actually can start learning some more good grass time moves. I th think it can learn, they can make a drain and le by leveling up as well. Eh, it doesn't matter. Cut me a sec. Okay. Where are we going? If you go straight from here, there's a Pokemon Center. And use these if you want. Chesto Berries! They restore confusion! Give your Pokemon a Chesto Berry to hold, then if it ever falls. Oh, never mind, it falls asleep. Never mind. Oh, wait a minute. Prison Berry is for confusion. Never mind. Chesto Berry is for awakening. Use a normal type moves. If you have a fighting type Pokemon, it might give you a big advantage. Type advantages don't mean everything. Okay. So now what have we gotten that out of the way? Um. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? What am I going to do? Because I kind of want to use Shocker for his, for his battle debut. And... Um, let me take a look at Shocker once again. It's light... Oh! Lightning Rod! It draws up all electric type moves to up its special attack. It's a, I guess it's a decent kind of nerve ability. It's good for multi multiplayer. I don't know if it's for for single player, but anyway. Oh, it's you again. I I want to see one things no one can see. The ideas of Pokemon inside Pokeballs. The truth of how trainers should be. In a future where Pokemon have become perfect. Do you feel the same? I suppose it could be an okay thing. So, my friends and I should test you to see if you can see his, this future, too. Alright! We're up against N once again! N has three Pokemon in his team. His first Pokemon! Bidove, level 13, normal flying type. Super luck for the ability. Gust, quick attack, leer, and growl. Um... This could actually be so bit of a problem. Because with super luck... The chances of you getting a critical hit are quadrupled, I believe it is. If not, then I'll, I'll post something up on screen right now, just so... If I'm wrong in any way, there will always be something right there that I'll... Tell me if I'm being wrong. Anyway. Um... Uh, Alright, shocker. Let's see if you have what it takes. Because I would really, really would like it for you to have a really good Pokemon Battle debut. And it doesn't look like that's going to be happening. Alright, Bingo. Time for you to get out there. Alright. Let's go for a bite. Very good. Very good. Alright, his next Pokemon, Timber, level 13, pure fighting type, guts for the ability, low kick, focus, energy, bite, and leer. Okay, I'm gonna send Shankar back out there so I can hope it has a little bit of a better shot at, at this particular battle. Um, you know what, I'll do it. Oh, what? Really? Come on! Don't be like that! Although then again, it is pretty low leveled. And Low Kick is a unique fighting type move. The heavier the Pokemon it's up against, the greater the damage. Okay. At least I can guarantee that it's gonna go down, hopefully, this turn. If not, ah, uh, yes, it's gotta go with that strategy. Uh, Patrick, take that hit. I pretty much just use my Patrick as a scapegoat, I guess. Um, you know what? I'll risk it again. Let's go for a 
Quick attack. Oh, crap. Sorry, Blitzel. Um, this is not good. Because I really wanted to use Blitzel more, but don't worry. Blitzel will be showing a whole lot more good action in the next episode. Because it, she and I are going to have some off-screen training. And we're going to have some nice, happy, fun times. Uh, anyway, with all that said and done, his last Pokemon. Tim Ball, level 13, pure water type, swift swim for the ability. Supersonic Ball will be in ground and round. Or growl, excuse me. Growl and round. What the heck does that even mean? I have no idea. But either way, goodbye. Or not. Oh, okay. Okay, for real. This time, goodbye. Bye bye bye. Bye bye bye. Okay. I cannot see the future yet. The world is still to be determined. Right now, my friends aren't strong enough to save all Pokemon. Maybe I can't solve the equation that will change the world. So I need power. Power enough to make anyone agree with me. Now I know what power I need. Zekrom. The legendary Pokemon that, along with the hero, created the universe region. It's my turn to become that hero. And you and I will be friends. Well, considering how many fangirls you have, I'm pretty sure you will have a lot of people supporting you from right there. Seriously, this guy's a freaking chick magnet! Okay. Um, there's not a whole lot more that we can do, but there is one place that I want to go to, which is... Um... There's a little area that's before the next official dungeon that I want to go out to and see what we can do out there. Okay. Um, let's see here. If I recall correctly, I think this should be an item around here. I know there's an item right over there, but I don't think we're going to worry about that yet, though. Okay. And coming up from right here, we are now in the exterior of Pinwheel Forest. There we go. Alright. So here in the exterior from point of uh, Pinwheel Forest, there's only four new Pokemon that we can find out here. One of them is Timpole. Timpole is not a bad water type. Um, once it evolves, it actually becomes a part ground type, which is one of the best typings in the game. Watch it in a lot of games because it only has one weakness. Grass. Unfortunately, Temple's not a very good Pokemon that helps fit that head build properly, so I guess if you want to take a shot at it, be my guess. Next up is Timber. Timber is a very interesting fighting type. It's kind of like Machop. It's pretty strong, yet it's pretty slow. And to evolve it, you need you need to trade it with someone to make it become its final evolution, which is Conkleder. Which which becomes one of the greatest uh, physical attackers that I am aware of, especially in this particular game, and I like that. Now, these next two Pokemon are exclusive to either Black or White. I believe in Black, we can find the Pokemon Sock. Uh, Sonic is a very interesting Pokemon. It's, um, it's actually not a bad fighting type. It's, I kind of think of it as a little bit more faster and a more better offensive Pokemon than its counterpart, which is Throw. Um, Throw is, I think, is a little bit more bulkier and it's a little bit slower than Sonic is, but um. It's not a bad Pokemon. Personally, I think there are some better ones that could be found out there. And holy crap, Shocker's not doing too well. I mean, all I'm just trying to do is just talk about these new encounters out here. So I can at least be prepared for what's coming up. Like I said, we're only in the exterior of Pinwheel Forest. 
But once we get into it, there's just a whole lot more Pokemon out there we're going to be finding. I'm not going to cover them in this episode, but I think I might be able to cover them in the next episode. And holy crap, this kindergarten is actually kind of kicking my ass a little bit because it's paralyzed not one, but two of my Pokemon. Blitzel's almost down. At least I know one thing's for certain. Shocker and I are going to have a lot of off-screen training. So, pretty much what I'm doing right now is just switching it in and out. I just go over to a different Pokemon. I want to make sure that he gets it up to at least the next level before I end this episode. Now, I actually am running a little bit low on time, so... Hopefully, that shouldn't be the case. Ugh. Mega Drain. All right, come on, come on, come on. I'm a, I'm a busy man. I got much to do and less time to do with it. And that's not helping me much. I will not lose to a kindergartner. Seriously, come on, cut me some slack here, kid. All right, Shocker's at level 11, and it learns Shockwave, nice. Oh, she's a preschooler. Game? I do not like you. Ah, but that's not true. I really like this game. Alright. Hey, there's Celeste. I know that was back here. Great ball. That's great. Oh, boy. Hey, speaking of Timber, I was just talking about you not that long ago. Okay. But anyway, um, that's going to be in here for this episode because I'm actually running a little bit low on time and I actually have some things to do. But either way, I am gonna get myself prepared for the gym and I'm gonna do some serious amount of off-screen training with my Pokemon especially Blitzel Shocker take your pick so anyway we're gonna go ahead and end things off right here next time on Pokemon Black we're gonna be taking on that Kareem City gym and heading deeper into Pinwheel Forest see you guys then as I was trying to say